This being said, we are very happy to see uh, these projects now, now starting. It will hopefully um, lead to the identification of uh, new ideas, of solutions uh, to improve the uh, uh, inclusion of uh, vulnerable people in the social system. And uh, it will hopefully be reflected also in the policies and in the funding priorities of the of the of the government. Uh, on our side, I can guarantee you, we are as European Union, we are committed to continue to be engaged in that area, and also based on findings uh, that might be generated by this project, adjust our our projects and uh, initiatives. Uh, on our side, we are quite broadly engaged, I would say, in that, in that area. We have an ongoing, long-standing cooperation with the National Employment Service. Uh, we are working on social uh, service delivery. We have a huge portfolio also with regards to the specific vulnerable groups, such as Roma, such as, uh, such as women. We are on the broader, working on the broad topic of education um, and employment. Uh, and maybe let me highlight also in that respect uh, one of the flagship initiatives of the um, European um, of the of the economic investment uh, program that has been recently adopted. One of the flagship projects refers to the so-called youth guarantee, where we notably try to address the the issue of employability uh, from the very beginning, because in the end, uh, um, social inclusion starts with the young people. If you don't manage to include them at a very early time the more and more difficult it becomes. Uh, this being said, um, I would like to um, wish you all a very successful implementation of this project, and uh, we will closely follow you in that regard. Thank you very much.